what's going on everybody got another video here for you this is solving a quadratic equation by completing the square yes everybody likes to use the quadratic formula but we're going to complete the square on it because I think I think I think you can do them quicker all right so for completing the square the one thing you got to remember is you cannot have a number in front of x squared. Well, the number in front of x squared has to be a 1. And you can see we have a 3. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to divide everything by 3 to get rid of that number. So that's x squared minus 5 thirds x minus 10 thirds equals 0. And so now we're ready to complete the square. But first thing we need to do is we need to move the constant term to the other side. All right. Now, you can go over to the side here. You can take the middle term, the 5 thirds, and you half it. And remember, halving something is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. And so that's going to give us 5 over 6. And then once you half it, then you have to square it. So 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36. So that's plus 25 over 36. And so that, since we added 25 over 36 to the left-hand side, we've got to add 25 over 36 to the right-hand side. All right. Now, the left-hand side becomes a perfect square trinomial, and that's going to factor into a set of parentheses squared. Now let me show you the easiest way to factor this. Works every time. Look at the first term and the last term. What's the square root of the first term? X. What's the square root of the last term? 5 over 6. How easy is that? Square root of the first term, square root of the last term, and then look at the sign of the in front of the term in the middle. It's a minus. So that's a minus. And now let's see what we have here. Is this going to be 145 over 36, I believe? Let me double check. Just to make sure that's right, because if it's not, I'll hear about it in the comments. I believe it's right. Yep, 145 over 36. Get a common denominator of 36. That's how you do it. All right. And now we square root both sides, so that's x minus, remember the square root property, minus 5 over 6 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 145, whoop, the square root of 145 over, I was fixing to write 36 down, over 6. All right. And so now we add the 5 over 6 to both sides. And so we get x equals 5 over 6 plus or minus the square root of 145 over 6. And there's your answer. Or if you got a teacher that's picky and they want you to write it a certain way, you can put it all over the common denominator. If you're in my class, I don't care. I'm just happy if you get this. All right. So... I hope that video helped you. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.